Mass is offered today for the repose of the soul of Anne Holway, and we remember St. Francis Xavier, priest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. We enter into these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. Lord Jesus, you come to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O oh God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith, and that Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offspring. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, but a very little while and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchard and the orchard be regarded as a forest. On that day, the deaf shall hear the words of a book and out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord, and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more, and the arrogant will have gone. All who are alert to do evil will be cut off. Those whose mere word condemns a man, who ensnare his defender at the gate, and leave the just man with an empty claim. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of the house of Jacob, who redeemed Abraham. Now, Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale. When his children see the work of my hands in his midst, they shall keep my holy name. They shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob and be in awe of the God of Israel. Those who err in spirit shall acquire understanding and those who find fault shall receive instruction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Hallelujah. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, two blind men following him cried out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warm, warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread the word of him through all the land. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the, well, let me back up. I like to talk sometimes about things that I really don't know too much about. But I know a little. Now they say a little knowledge can be dangerous. Yes, no knowledge can be worse. And sometimes a whole lot of knowledge isn't all that much better. So if those three little parameters have any value, here we go. One of the few things I know from Thomistic philosophy is uh, what is perceived is perceived according to the receiver. That is, what I say is not what you hear, because I say it according to me, but you hear it according to you. Languages, oh, the Tower of Babel is alive and well. And it's not just what we call foreign languages. Uh, raise your hand if you and your spouse have never disagreed over something that you thought was perfectly clear. Oh, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. How can we know? What does it mean? Uh, for example, Sajiv over here used to always come and sit over there. Now he comes and he sits over there. Well, I don't know what that means. Uh, my fear is it means he's moved to the right, but that's only if you're looking at it from my perspective. On the other hand, he might be moving to the left, which is what it would be from his perspective. What is it? And so how is it that we know what this God of us wants or what we should do? We celebrate the day of Francis, Francis Xavier, Francisco Javier. He goes to the Orient. Well, don't we even have little somewhat pejorative sayings in English as mysterious as a Chinaman? Um, gosh, it, if a good Polish boy can't understand the Ukrainian, how can the Ukrainian possibly understand the Chinaman? At least there's some linguistic uh, parody there, but not with the Chinese. So he's determined to go to the Orient. I just can't imagine, but I can't imagine marriage, frankly. 
I watched my brother and my sister-in-law try to understand each other, and yikes, it's a, it's a minefield, isn't it? But Francis Xavier was determined to do what he was certain Almighty God was calling to do, and off he went. It would seem as though he failed miserably because he didn't get all that far when he died. So, maybe wanting to do something is enough. Maybe doing just a little is enough. What is success? I heard one mother say uh, getting her son to make his bed was an enormous success. Uh, what is success? Is success being able to look at someone you love and express it to them and know that they heard it? That's success. Is success being able to tolerate your mother-in-law who just makes your teeth grind? That could be success. Is success like the little flower, just doing everything you do with gratefulness to God? That could be success. But then again, Mother Teresa says she wasn't called to be successful, she was called to be faithful. So, maybe that's enough. Is all that vague enough for you? Let us turn to our loving Father, confident that you will hear and answer the prayers which we offer in Christ's name. That God may bless all members of his Holy Catholic Church with the strength to follow the stirrings of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the world may be united in Jesus Christ, the one bread come down from heaven to save us all, we pray. Lord. That those who have been falsely accused or deprived of their rights may find strength in Christ as they seek justice, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may increase the gift of faith in all of us gathered here today and with us virtually during this Advent season, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have fallen asleep in Christ, especially Anne Holy, for her this Mass is offered, may she and all who have gone before her may rise with Jesus Christ to dwell in the Lord's house forever, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, our Father, please hear and answer these our prayers, both spoken and unspoken, which we offer from our hearts through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made, but will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive, O Lord, these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier, 
and grant that as he journeyed to distant lands, out of longing for the salvation of souls, so we too, bearing effective witness to the gospel, may with our brothers and sisters eagerly hasten toward you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts. By their way of life you offer us an example. By communion with them you give us companionship, by their intercession sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat up. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Confess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our bishop, Joel and Bernard, his auxiliaries, all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you always. With your spirit, let us offer one another sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your mysteries, O God, kindle in us that fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls, so that walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you promise to those who labor well in your harvest. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Amen.